Ahead of its national convention, the National Executive Committee of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has approved the recommendations of the Governor Ifan Yuguanyi led Zoning Committee. Now, the Zoning Committee recommended that all the positions held by the North be moved to the South and vice versa, that is a kind of swapping. Well, the committee also ratified the convention date of October 30 and 31. Yes, then. They considered the report of Governor Ifani Uguayi's um, report on zoning, and they approved the zoning as presented, which, as you understand, the positions that are in the south will go to the north, and the positions that are in the north will go to the south. There's no decision, there's no any other decision outside what has been taken prior to now on having a national convention on the 30th and the 31st. Meanwhile, Nigeria's former Vice President, Atiku Abubakar, says Nigeria's president can come from any part of the country. Abubakar said this at the National Executive Committee meeting of the People's Democratic Party in Abuja. The former Vice President says the geopolitical zone of the president is not the solution to the problems of the country. The People's Democratic Party has the right to determine its rules on how the party should be governed. The people of Nigeria also have the right to determine who governs them. Where the president comes from has never been the problem of Nigeria. And I can cite examples. Neither will it be the solution. There is no such thing as a president from southern Nigeria or a president from northern Nigeria. There is only one a president from Nigeria for Nigeria by Nigerians. This country has a sense of fairness. This country has a sense of justice. This country has a sense of fairness. Therefore, this thing that is inbuilt in our party, we should be able to use it well, for more on this, uh, I'm being joined by Okwesilieze Mwodo, a former national chairman and former national secretary of the People's Democratic Party. He's also a former governor of Enugu State. Interesting to have you join us on Newsnight. Thank you very much. Good. Let's start with uh, the list that I just, uh, the INEC just released, uh, 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 Valentine Ozibo of your party. And then, of course, you have Abgar, uh, Chukuma Soludo, and then of course you have uh, Oba of the APC, and then 15 others, and and then no woman. What's your take on on that, on the list? I mean, with all the courts, you know, all the court uh, judgments and all that. What's your take? Well, let me say that Nigeria is ripe to have a woman governor, and indeed a woman president. I think that Nigerian women they have really caught their teeth and they are assuming international positions world trade union united nations and i don't see why we can't elect them as governors and presidents what is important is that countries that have been able to do this create the enabling environment for the women to be able to compete. What's that environment? And do you see this happening in the nearest future? Well, I'm one of those who has been advocating it even in our party, right from the time I was national secretary and national chairman later on. I, 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 I believe in it at 5% for women, for a start. Um, I went to school uh, with, with girls in my primary school, and I remember very well one of the girls that used to compete with us for the first three positions. Um, and um, by the time we finished, 
she disappeared. I don't know what happened to her. But those of uh, the three of us, I, I, I went on to become a medical doctor and the other two went on to become engineers. I don't know what happened to her. But she had that intellect that given the right uh, environment, she would have also competed with us to, to be doctors and engineers. All right, let, let, let's get down to uh, what you could call the real McCoy, approval of the Ogwai led Zoning Committee by the NEC or your party. Let's talk about it. Yeah. I mean, what do you make of, uh, what's your sense of that approval? And then maybe you go, let, let's talk about that. And I come to what Atiku Abubakar, the former vice president, said and how you relate with that statement. Well, the uh, Uwain Committee worked strictly within the constitution of PDP and our tradition. In other words, when we started uh, in 1999, we in southern Nigeria made a strong case for a southern president. We said we had had a head of state in the first republic, Balewa. We had a president in the Second Republic, Shehu Shagari. And then we had a southerner win an election, but it was aborted. And therefore, we didn't have a story to tell the people of southern Nigeria where they should vote for another northerner. So we won that argument and were allowed exclusively to get a president from southern Nigeria, and that's how uh, Obasanjo came in, and he competed with other southerners. Now, uh, th 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 that tradition also allowed us to have the chairman of the party from the other part of the country, and that's how Solomon La uh, emerged. Came, came, yeah, and as long as uh, uh, Obasanjo was president for eight years, all our chairmen came from the north. From La to Gamade, from Gamade to Audubwe, from Audubwe to Amado Ali and so on. So, but again, when we now had uh, a northern president, Yaradua, we had to go back to um, southern Nigeria for chairman. And that's when Obulafo and then myself later on came in. So, um, again, when Jonathan came, we had to change things again. Uh, and Bamanga Tuku and uh, um, former governor of Bauchi State uh, came in as. So it, it, when we have um, eight year tenure, we maintain the status quo. When it's four years, we have to change. And that's what the, 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 the committee just Indeed. did. So All right. Let's talk about what the former vice president said, Abubakar Atiku. Atiku. He says the president he can come from anywhere. Is that not negating the belief or agreement of the PDP for a northern, uh, not, not just even him, because with the, with the chairmanship going through the south, it's looking like a northern thing, even though the, the Bauchi governor said, leave it open. And so it's looking like PDP has left that position of presidency open. Is that what it is? That is what it is in a way. Um, PDP has a joker <laughs> for the presidential slot. And we believe that when we get to the bridge, we cross it. The bridge we are at right now is the party executive. Mm. Um, remember that we are contesting with other parties. I thought we were going to make preparations for crossing the bridge before we get there. <laughs> no. Um, other parties are in this race with us. We are looking at them. They are looking at us. It's a, it's a, a game of strategy. Mm. Uh, and, but the bottom line is that PDP will zone to win. Okay, zone to win the is the caveat, is. not zone to the south. We will zone to win. But is the south, to, is the south knocked off? No. Any, anybody can run. So, but the north it, can it, contest. It, yes, it may, be, it may be a free run for all and we choose the best. Or at that time, we may decide to zone based on what others have done mm -hmm. so that we can zone to win. 
right. <laughs> I see. So what others do may determine what you do. That's what you're saying. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, <laughs> uh, Dr. Okwesilieze Mwodo, former national chairman and secretary of the BPM, former governor of Enugu State. Thank Glad you to very have you much. Here. Thank you so much.